Peace Family Grand Rising. So I came out here to take the trash out and I was like, I should record because anytime I come out here to take the trash out or just like do one little thing, like I get stuck in this garden because it is so beautiful. And literally you can watch things grow from like morning to evening. Like that cucumber will be better or like that okra is now ready. This morning it was almost ready, but now it's ready. So I just want to take a second and show you guys what's growing in the garden like what am I anticipating um harvesting I just harvested my first zucchini and I can't even stop staring at it it's so big and I'm so excited that I grew that like I can't believe it so as usual there's okra growing we get a few like every two days or so and those are the mature plants but I'm waiting for this beauty I planted her and I planted these others but they're not growing as fast but I planted her when I first got here and it looks like she's about to start making some flowers so excited about that my husband cooked and threw his butternut squash seeds back here and this one is so lovely and I don't want to get in there because I'm trying to revamp this bed and putting you know keep the soil fluffy but it is about it's making some flowers I don't see one open right now but it has some the watermelon you guys is everywhere but this one that we discovered in the back is so beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh you guys so this is my hand so it's still small but it started <laughs> way smaller i can't even believe that <laughs> we're growing this food and this watermelon has a few other ones on here well in front of the watermelon is this tomato and i thought he was dying i was mentally prepared to pull him out but I keep pulling the dead stuff off and look like the rest of him is still looking pretty green and happy and healthy like new bud new tomato so I'm gonna let it do what it do but look here's another little tomato I mean watermelon isn't she lovely <laughs> I can't believe this y'all I really can't believe it like it's so exciting oh here's the other one i was looking for right there and i'm showing you because you can do it too i'm showing you because i'm new and i i still don't know like i i went on my group the other day and i was like can i get this zucchini the flower isn't pollinated yet but it looks big like i want to eat it so i'm asking a lot of questions and it's just making me a better gardener and it's so good to be learning something and working on something every day that your family will be able to eat you can save money you have more food security not concerned about like where is my food coming from what is it being sprayed with oh my gosh the price went up like the price of seeds is not expensive and it's just the time so i know everybody's time is different but plant a seed or two just whatever you can handle and it'll just grow from there your learning will grow your food will grow and you will grow so let me show you this cucumber I've been staring at every morning. <laughs> Ooh, look at him. Seems like you're ready. Not really, but I'm ready. I'm ready for you to be ready. So excited. Look at this squash. I want to pull it, but I'm going to wait for the flower to close up. I did hand pollinate that one see if I can put my hand over here oh let me back up put my hand it's it's long it's back up in there so waiting on that to close up and there's another one over there that was hand pollinated so it's gonna get bigger and look at these over here their flowers are about to open up so excited about that we've got cantaloupe and this that I'm showing you is, oh, hey, buddy. There's a little, let's see if I can get him in the camera. Oh, can y'all see this little lizard? He's so cute. Hey, buddy. There are baby cantaloupes. 
Now, mind you, uh, gardening is a lesson in patience because I'm not quite sure how long it takes for some of this stuff to um, mature. Some are faster than others, like cucumbers are pretty fast, squash is pretty fast. Things like melons, you see how small that melon is. Um, so it'll take a little longer than a zucchini or a squash. But that is why I have food diversity. So that when one thing is not giving me food, another thing will be. Let's see, is there anything else? I have longevity spinach, but I'm always eating that. So it's not really anticipation. It's just like, whenever you want some, come out here and get it. But check out this pepper plant though. Come on, peppers. Come on. All I had to do was move this beauty over here. Not so much in the sun. And it is looking lovely. This is the biggest one. Looking lovely in this pot. And I wasn't sure how, so sure how well it would do in this pot, but it's done great. I think it's enough space here because I didn't put anything else in there. And then I've got this pepper plant over here. And I'm waiting. Uh, I'm watching all these beautiful peppers form. I'm going to wait until these turn red. Um... I'm so excited, y'all. And I'm learning. I think some of my peppers got scalded on this one, so I moved him over too. Look, I've got all different sizes. Oh, let me. See, this one is one starting. And then this is like a smaller one. So we've got all sizes here. So. The garden is producing food. That's all I can ask for. Like, I just thank God. I'm so, so, so blessed and so excited. So I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you are happy and healthy and doing well. I'll come back and do a harvesting video when it's time. Peace.